Hello there, this is Sheldon again. Welcome back to iOS D tutorials. Today, let's talk about iOS multi threading basics and let's do a demo together. So, iOS multi threading is one of the most commonly used features in iOS apps. Believe it or not, maybe 99% of the apps in the App Store has this feature. So, let's discover together why it's like this, widely used. So multi-threading is one of the most commonly used features in most apps, like I said. And the, uh, the most important thing that you need to remember is the main UI of your app always happen on the main thread. So to give better user experience to your app users, something like image downloading will happen in the background, which can avoid the lag of your UI. Means if there is an image downloading in one of your table view, assuming you have a table view here, if you are downloading your images um, in the main thread, so when you swipe your table view up and down, your app will definitely have the lags. So to the user, um, your app looks not smoothly at all, means there is bad user experience. So you need to take care, take care of your main UI, like the table view swiping down and up and down in the main thread and put the downloading in the background thread. But why it is so most commonly used? Because the most common feature here, for example, for the touch ID or uh, some system level alert are happening in the background th thread, means no matter where, um, <clears throat> where this alert should be shown, it will be shown in the current view controller on top of your current view controller, but they are showing in the background thread. Also, probably uh, you have seen this loading, um, downloading indicator everywhere in almost every app maybe, uh, but they, they may look different though in different apps, but uh, definitely most of the apps especially for the apps who are working with web services will have this kind of loading indicator because when the loading indicator is showing usually something is going wrong in the background um, but actually it should be in the other way around it is that we want to show user this indicator because we need downloading something in the background so the main thread will need kind of need a pause but to the user user uh, should not see your app looks like that waiting there. So the user should see a downloading uh, loading indicator at least. So um, there are two most important keywords in multi-threading iOS. One is called GCD and second one is called NS operation queue or NS operation. So GCD is basically Grand Central Dispatch. Um, it is safe based language. It's based on the C language it has a lower level way to manage multi-threading but like most of the case it is good enough so NS operation is a API built by Apple on top of Grand Central Dispatch so um, you can use NS operation but if, for, if you are using NS operation it means um, you are using GCD because NS op operation queue is built on top of GCD so why Apple built it? because you, you will have more freedom like cancel operation or add dependency be between different operations in an NS operation queue. But you need to remember there are also some limits in the NS operation queue. For example, when you want to cancel operation, um, once the operation itself has already started, you cannot do anything. But the big advantage, advantage of NS operation queue is that you can add dependency, means you can add multiple NS operation in an operation queue. For example, you add downloading image one as operation one, and then you have downloading image two as the operation two. So you can add dependency, um, means you can add dependency only start to download image 2 after image 1 is already downloaded. Um, so this is a big advantage of NS operation queue. Okay. 
So enough words. Let's use GCD and NS Operation Q to download images to practice multi-threading. And also one thing I do need to uh, tell you guys means why I want to start this multi-threading courses first because this is very basic idea of uh, how you manage multiple thread threads in iOS. After these basic courses, uh, I will give you some other multi-threading courses like um, Touch ID or also JSON downloading or XML downloading and also I will show you guys some ways to use third-party APIs also um, I mean a lot of multi-threading things are waiting there for us to discover but this is a very basic one so I really need I really hope you guys to understand first or why we use this multi-threading and what the advantage of using this multi-threading. Um, so let's take an example of downloading images to practice it. So let's get started. So here we are in Xcode and now we're let's create one simple single view application with name um, VG downloading demo okay and choose language as objective c for this one and hit next and next okay now um because we are using objective c we'll have dot h and dot m, m files for app delegate and view controllers etc so if we come to the um storyboard we can drag an image view controller here sorry image view here let's also add some auto layout let's see we want top 52 whatever um, with a height but let's put a square for it and now we need to um, define the location in the center as you may guess we just put horizontal in center so if we update the frame and we also need a button here for the action of start downloading if we put the button here we can change the title of the button to be download and let's also add an activity indicator here okay so still auto layout horizontal in center and we need only top spacing and also height and width and for this indicator let's first make the bigger size and change the color to make it more apparent and also auto layout with top spacing 19 as we did for the button and the width and height maybe 40 Okay, now we need to put it in the center of horizontal. Okay. So for now, um, looks like we shouldn't change the width and height. Just uh, let me put it back to 37. Okay. So for now, every element in our view controller is ready except for we need to drag some um, IV olives and also action so for this one let's name it image view this one we just drag a action called download tapped and for this indicator we also need drag a property uh, IV olive called indicator or download indicator okay so um okay let's get to our view controller dot m file so first i would really want to tell you that apple has already made a very easy way for us to download um, the image from a url 
you can simply search square image in Google and find the image let's see this one open image in new tab yes so we just use this image um, link here so we need to name our first a string let's define a string URL string uh, let's just define the name here and updating will be load and also as you are as you may And also in S U R L U R L. Okay. So let's update our date data here. U R L string is equal to this thing, and now U R L is equal to. And as you are innate, uh, sorry, a lock innate with string. And we can use our as you are string here. Okay. So one thing that you may have noticed that this URL is from HTTP instead of HTTPS. So if we run our project here, it will never allow us to do anything regarding this um, unsafe URL because it's not from HTTPS. So let's try to do something with it now anyways um, because we have already have our image view. And we can find dot image using um, UI image image with data and um, and as data data with content of URL And now we can put our URL string here. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, why it is having a incompatible as URL? Um, Shouldn't be any issue. Let's run our project using iPhone 6. Okay, so we're using the run type here. We should use URL. Yes, it was my fault. Okay, so let's run it in our iPhone 6 simulator. Okay, now as you can see, uh, we have this button indicator ready, but nothing is moving. And if we hit download, you will be able to see some error message that app transportation transport security has blocked our um, HTTP resources as we expected. Actually, so if you come to this info p list, uh, we can do something to temporarily make it enable if you scroll down it will be an option for app application transport security settings expanded is expanded stationary 
you will be able to see one thing called allow attribute loads and you can make it yes but usually when you're working on your own app you should be um, not generally allow these things to happen you should create a whitelist and everything may from maybe from the http url itself uh, should be uh, only available if, if it is in your whitelist okay so if we come back to no need to uh, here and yes so and we remove this thing to our action now let's rerun our project if you hit download it will show in here okay so uh, basically this is the way that Apple has already implemented for us but uh, using this way won't give us any uh, knowledge of how this background downloading works so today we're going to use a different function uh, with an SURL session to first download a, this all the data of the image from the URL and then update our UI in different threads so let's simply comment this out okay as you can as uh, I said we're going to use an SURL session shared session because this one uh, is a singleton class and um, like the other managers it will be creating a singleton instance we will use data task with URL and we will need this completion handler here we can put the URL here and then completion handler simply hit return and now uh, we will be able to get anything we want from all the data returned from the completion handler so first thing we can check if there is no error if error is new and um, data is not new okay oh uh, here we can have our options and we will need to put one more resume here before we end our function of uh, data task with URL because if you don't put resume here sometime I mean 99 percent of time you don't you will not be able to get the data because this is like a continuous uh, process of downloading data in the background background thread so what's the issue here expect identifier let's do something in this way okay so now oh, we are making sure uh, we will have the data so we can use self dot image view dot image um, is equal to UI image image with data and we can put the data here okay and let's run our project again so if you hit download button nothing is showing nothing is showing until now so um, there will be a crash and not on our app but it's on the engine of auto layout which is also expected because as I mentioned in our slides uh, a few minutes ago um, 
if you remember all the UI updates should be on the main thread but now check out what we did is that uh, we are updating our um, image views image on the background thread or on the others uh, thread other than uh, main thread why is this happening uh, this this kind of a trick that if you see this peak um, symbol and also curly brackets following curly brackets this means you are expecting something happening in a different thread means this URNS URL session share session data task with URL until here are happening in the main thread but um, when it complete when it completed it's in a different thread means um, you start to invoke your function here in the main thread but when it completed it's already on a different thread this is the way that you are making your app smooth so um, that's why that's the whole point of our test we need to access uh, our main thread inside of this background thread to update our UI so let's first try to use um, dispatch GCD way which is dispatch async and dispatch get main queue and there is block as you can see this uh, symbol plus curly brack brackets shows again means now we're gonna jumping from current uh, thread to another thread now because we're uh, indicating the new thread we're jumping to is the main queue which is the main thread so we will be able to upload now update our code of the image view in the main thread now okay so now if you hit download button it's like instantly updated because downloading is so fast here with my uh, internet and also uh, we can do it in an NS operation queue way so first is there's a little bit difference here you first get the main queue and now uh, we need to add an operation to our queue and you can see this peak symbol falling with curly brackets as we expected to access a different queue and now we just copy and paste here and let's comment this out so now we're using as operation queue instead of GCD to do the same thing actually and if you hit download it will download instantly almost so um, now let's work on our indicator so first in the view did load let's make it moving download indicator uh, start animating okay so no matter so at the at the moment you start your view controller the thing is rotating now and uh, this uh, and we only need to manage um, when you hit the button so and here let's make it invisible initially we're making it invisible and when you are downloading we make it uh, visible and after anything after the download finished we make it invisible again so for now we only can see this download button if you hit download it seems too fast 
this indicator cannot be shown. So let's we can try to find a very large image. Okay, probably this one. This one is quite large. Okay, so let's copy this URL again and get back to our code and replace our URL string here and now as you can see this is a HTTPS image so even though even if you don't set the uh, um, plift here it will still work anyways so let's run our project hit download it will show here, the indicator will be shown until the downloading is finished. Um, I think this is pretty uh, much about it. And the idea of making this tutorial is to just give you guys a general idea of this uh, jumping from different thread and why you need to download in the background thread and only update uh, your UI in the main thread. Um, so um, I will do a Swift version as well. Uh, I will put the link uh, down in the description part. Also, the final project will be available in GitHub. I will post the GitHub link as well. So I hope you enjoy this video, and I will make a series of a uh, series of uh, background thread, multiple thread management. Um, so like a Touch ID integration or geolocation update or um, weather uh, weather forecasting and such things because this will be the very basic idea that you guys needed for multi-threading management and i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you like this um, please please subscribe to our channel we will be releasing new tutorials at least three or two times a week um, also the newest technology of for example Siri kit is all is already available in our channel so I hope you can check it out um, I will see you next time um, bye bye